Family, do you know who this is? Can you take a guess? If you said Cindy Brady from the Brady Bunch, you are correct. This video is about the former Brady Bunch star who is now under fire after a report of a homophobic rant. Cindy Olson, a.k.a. Cindy. I'm sorry, Susan Olson, a.k.a. Cindy Brady, may have even lost her talk show gig. This article was published December 10th, 2016 by Hillary Hansen. Let's go to the story. Well, family, Susan Olson, the former child star who played Cindy Brady on The Brady Bunch, is under fire after allegedly unleashing a slur-filled rant against one of her critics. On Wednesday, activist and producer Leon Accord Whitting slammed Olsen after appearing as a guest on Two Chicks Talking Politics, a show that Olsen co-hosted with Sheena Mattel on LA Talk Radio. He accused Olsen of spreading outrageous misinformation, including the idea that a person can't be liberal and a patriot at the same time. So here, Liana Corwitting tweets, it is wildly irresponsible for LA Talk Radio to allow a Trump fanatic to hope co-host one of their programs where she can spew her idiotic lies unchecked. Well, family, does that sound familiar? A.K.A. Tommy Loren. Anyways, being a liberal and a patriot are mutually... Being a liberal and a patriot are mutually exclusive? Question mark. Hillary is causing the protests and hate crimes? Question mark. The Quran is a political tract? Question mark. As much as I love Sheena Mattel, I think LA Talk Radio needs to give, quote, Cindy Brady her walking papers. I will not listen to or appear on any shows there from this point forward until she's gone. This isn't just disagreeing on, say, tax plans or foreign policy. Susan Olsen spreads outrageous information and it is dangerous and unprofessional. Well, Olsen responded with her own Facebook post calling Whitting a, quote, little piece of human waste, unquote. And family, here you can see the post from Susan Olsen who not only showed the post from Leon Accord Whitting, but then the caption underneath says, This is the little piece of human waste. He blocked himself from me before I could even get one, get one hit in. If you can find him, please send him my love. <laughs> and, of course, Accord Whitting said, Olsen took things one step further in a private message. He posted a screenshot that appears to show Olsen going off on a tirade and repeatedly calling him, quote, faggot. And here is the post here. Susan Olsen says, Hey there, little pussy. Let me get my big boy pants on and really take you on. What a snake in the grass you are. Lion piece of shit. Too cowardly to confront me in real life so you do it on Facebook. You are the biggest faggot ass in the world. The biggest pussy. My dick is bigger than yours, which ain't saying much. What a true piece of shit you are, lying faggot. I hope you meet your karma slowly and painfully. Ouch. Well, a court winning Olsen or the LA Talk Radio did not respond to requests for comment. However, LA Talk Radio did post this. LA Talk Radio takes pride in its close and collaborative relationship with the LGBT community and will continue to provide a home for those who have hopeful and positive messages of togetherness and tolerance to share with our listeners. We will not tolerate hateful speech by anyone associated with our radio station and have severed our ties with a host that veered off the direction in which we are going. Thank you for your loyalty and continued support. 
LA Talk Radio stands for love and community and we will always support all of our friends around the world. So yes, Cindy Brady, you're fired! Well, Olsen's comments may come as a surprise to those who remember when she spoke out in support of marriage equality three years ago. In 2013, she posted a moving tribute to Robert Reed, the reportedly closeted gay actor who played Father Mike Brady on The Brady Bunch. See, she suggested that Reed could, quote, never make peace with himself, unquote, because of the way society treated queer men. Well, family, you will never forget this picture. In this picture, Susan Olsen is playing the ever-adorable racist Cindy Brady in 1971. I'm joking on that point. Anyways, it ends, quote, To me, the vilification of homosexuality is exactly like the primitive practice of people who killed babies who were born with cleft palates or...